my radio show where I pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description. Hey babes and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Gemini. For your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements, wherever you have the Gemini placement in your chart, you can apply this to. Before you get started, check me out on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading for your protection. That's the only place you can get a private read from me. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check out my completely free radio show and playbacks for it. Also in the description below on Station Head, we pull cards we listen to music it is super super fun and yeah let's get into a gemini and see what you guys have going on oh that's so interesting we got the Miriam sacred vision, the first card that came up for you guys, and it is represented by the twins, just like you, Gemini. So definitely feel like that is confirmation that we are locked into your message today. I'm just going to read this one and then I'll pull some more. Sacred vision, choose to forgive in order to heal, see the light and all. Remember that love has no boundaries. So you're being taught a lesson of unconditional love, Gemini. You're being taught a lesson of allowing things to grow, allowing things to develop, allowing people to grow, allow, allowing people to develop without you I'm tapping into a dependency thing here where you guys just some of you have this desire to just want like and I was thinking about this the other day it's so funny everyone just you know wants to feel wanted everyone wants to feel needed but you're realizing which is honestly a very emotionally intelligent realization that that's not healthy you know, you have to feel wanted and needed in different ways or create that want and need, you know, through yourself, through work. But especially like romantic relationships, that's codependency. You know, if someone feels like they need you, they can't function without you. That's not actually healthy. That's not partnership. That's, you know having a, a, a band-aid of a kiss and a hug and some intimacy to soften the blow of having to do all of the work because you're still in the driver's seat. I, I saw a TikTok the other day and it was, you know, this girl talking about how it, it, it doesn't feel good to have her partner come to her and say, what can I do to make your day easier? It would feel better to have her partner come home to the apartment they share, see that the dishes need to be done and just do them. Because otherwise you're still waiting for me to give you a command and it's like I might as well do it myself because I'm still investing energy in this thing. So the downloads are really coming through in terms of romance for you guys. We haven't even pulled any romance cards, but I guess that's the best way to explain this energy and use it as an example. This energy can play out in the workspace, you know, taking on too much. It can play out in so many different ways. So, all right, let's see what else we got for you. We have Archangel Michael with Trusting Heaven. So yeah, you guys, you're allowing someone to grow, allowing someone to develop. Maybe you have to let them go temporarily or you have to switch up the energy in the situation and it's uncomfortable. But trusting heaven is here because the universe is saying, listen, you know that this is what is required um, in order for your dream or, you know, your desire to be able to grow, whether that's a dream of having a better relationship, having the perfect relationship, having a better job, having less responsibility, a more balanced work environment, whatever it is for you. You are safe, angels are close, surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So miracle energy is things that you can't see, which is why it's called a miracle. You know, typically miracles aren't the thing that you, you know, know is likely gonna happen. Typically miracles are like when it's like, wow, I don't even know how I got that provision from the universe. I don't even know how this blessing, you know, came to me. So yeah, you guys, we got Master Buddha. Increased awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice. So yeah, you're being called to do the, the best thing for your situation. And you're leaning into that and I can just feel you kind of falling into that energy. Sarunos. With life force, express your driving passion. Uh, sensual powers are increased right now. So you guys may be having your kundalini awaken within you. You may want to channel that kundalini energy to whatever chakra needs um, you know, it the most. Maybe it's your heart. Maybe it's your um, solar plexus chakra. Solar plexus chakra, I feel like, is a really good one. 
but you definitely want to channel that energy to your heart chakra so that you can be comfortable opening it up truly and truly opening yourself up to unconditional love which isn't having someone be dependent on you but allowing someone the time and space to grow on their own and that's why they call it like tough love sometimes where people do the right thing but it feels tough and it's like yeah but that's still a form of love what you may have here right now is a form of dependency whether you're dependent on it or someone else is dependent on you and um you may want to channel some of that kundalini energy to your heart chakra or your solar plexus chakra solar plexus is all about self so that can help you um you know be comfortable and confident in self and know that you are worthy of whatever it is that you want to manifest so that you can feel more secure knowing that things will always work out in your favor or just cracking open that heart chakra or maybe both whatever um, so hope, love and acceptance, love is yours, recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts is what it says at the bottom of that one. But specifically what sticks out to me is the acceptance. <sighs> acceptance that this is the way that things have to be done or this is the way that you've seen is going to be the best to benefit your outcome. A plant can only grow as big as the pot. So yeah, there's a moment where things get a little messy and you take the plant out of the pot and you know, it needs a little tweaking, but you have to be confident that it'll come back together. And this is interesting. Offering, 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 offering. You're not offering anymore. You're not freely, willingly giving up your energy. If someone needs help, you're at least allowing them to ask you for help, but you're not taking initiative to just fix anything anymore. Look at this uh, Knight of Cups in reverse where it's like you were like, oh, something's wrong. Here, here's my here's my cup. You can take some of mine. You, are you thirsty? Here's a drink. Um, you know, and it's like, no, you're allowing someone to be thirsty a little bit. So maybe they can get to that space where they start to see the visions and they have a revelation. I don't know. You know? Yeah, and it's all for the purpose of the relationship coming together. We have the Two of Cups here. So there's chemistry. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I knew I was picking up on romance. <laughs> um, but there's a lot of chemistry here. And it's like, you know, I just feel like you guys are so used to making things easy for other people, Gemini. You're starting to really tap into your personal power, and it's a beautiful thing. Wow. Oof. Look at. We got the star card and the five of swords. Look at that five of swords card. You see how they're holding the swords? Like not by the handle, but in a way that gets them hurt. You know, this situation is painful, but it really is for what? The star, your wish fulfillment. You know that this situation is uncomfortable, but you know that you have to do things this way in order to get where you want to be. So it's, it is it is uncomfortable, but you know that it's for the better. Have confidence that you're doing the right thing because you are, and it, it hurts you. It does. And that's what makes you, you know, you just want to kind of stop the pain. You just want to stop um, feeling this way. You don't want to feel this way, but... You know that this is the best thing to do. Ooh, look at this. We got the Page of Swords and the King of Cups in reverse. So whoever you're dealing with right now, um, I almost wanted to say Virgo, that was weird. Whoever you're dealing with right now, Gemini, Page of Swords in reverse, they may add into the situation, but very minimally. You know, Page is the energy of someone who, I may have to close that window if that gets too much louder. Um, but yeah, Paige is the energy of someone who definitely takes instructions. Paige is a very childish kind of energy. Um, the energy of a page is the energy of someone who needs to be instructed. King of Cups in reverse, like someone is not on the same level as you. Let me close the window real quick. <clears throat> it's getting warmer, so they're cutting the grass all the time. It's annoying. Um, but yeah. With that page of swords, this is definitely someone who will take instruction and will do something if they have to. But page is honestly the energy of a kid, like clean your room. And it's like, they don't clean your room. They don't. You apply some force. You start to get like really angry. Then they may finally do it. And then they half ass it. That's the energy that you're kind of working with here, whether it's a job, whether it's a romantic partner. You know, you're like, I need more in the workspace. I need more. 
you know, I need more support. I need more this. And then once you're about to quit, they finally throw you, you know, someone from another store who spends a couple hours a week at your store to help you out. And it's just like, that's still not enough, but it's just softening the blow. But you've kind of taken on this energy of being used to being responsible for things so much. It's hard for you to release it, but I honestly, I feel like you will truly release it because this King of Cups in reverse is not it. That is not divine masculine energy. This is a divine masculine being completely lazy. Someone with a lot of potential being completely lazy. And it's crazy because that potential is what kind of keeps you here. You're like, you know that you can grow in this workspace. You know that this workspace can be great. Or you know that this relationship has a lot of chemistry. You know that things can work out in your favor. But someone is not giving what it's supposed to give. They're not, and it's really frustrating. Oh, yeah, I keep getting this duality in your spread. We got the sun card, but the strength card in reverse. So all of these indications that you're doing the right thing, the sun and the star, for me as a reader, typically represent fame as well. So you may be doing uh, dealing with someone who has a bit of notoriety, and they're used to um, having things super easy. Or someone who gets a lot of attention. Maybe they're, you know, famous in the community to some degree or something like that. But regardless, this is definitely a difficult situation. But the universe is telling you this is leading you to victory. This is leading you to where you want to be. The connection that you want to have is possible with this person. But you do have to change your approach. You're able to have a cohesive, happy work environment where you don't take your work home and you're stressed and, you know, in a bad mood for the rest of the night and then repeat the next day. You're able to have a better environment, a better work situation. Yeah. Religious factors just came out. Your love life is being influenced by a religious upbringing and spiritual path. And I feel like spiritual path is more of the energy here. Or it could be religious upbringing. Maybe this person is, you know, traditional in some degree. Or they come for, from a culture where a certain partner does everything. Like some cultures really exalt the man. And the man is supposed to do everything. Some cultures really exalt the woman. And the woman is supposed to do everything. Um, you know, and vice versa. And there's so many forms of, you know, whatever. But um, there's definitely differences here. I feel like, you know, you guys were in alignment at one point. But I feel like, Gemini, some of you guys have rapidly grown. And it's like you're trying to carry, you're trying to, they're just too heavy. It's like dead weight at this point. So in order for it to not be dead weight and something that doesn't completely serve you, you're releasing it so that it can work out kind of as a last, last ditch effort um, for some of you in a way to see that, you know, to see if it, it can go anywhere. But you've ascended, so now you guys are out of alignment. And you're like, I know the potential. When we're in alignment, when it's good, it's really good. But you've been trying to, you know, force things to work out knowing that they're no longer in alignment. So I feel like some of you guys have released that. And you're like, okay, I'm going to give them the space that they need to grow without me, you know, mothering them, without me fathering them, without me you know, being uh, a parent and so supportive, I'm going to allow them to grow. And this is the part I was picking up on before I knew it. This is what I was picking up on when I was telling you. This is a divine masculine energy that is freaking lazy. We have the deception card. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. They know how to do better. They can do better. They will not do better if you don't force them to do better is the problem. And I freaking knew it. I'm like, no, this is a divine masculine that is divine masculine, but is being very lazy and taking advantage of the situation. And, the, you know, we don't need to demonize them and say that this is a bad person or anything like that. But um, no, ma'am. We have unrequited love and reconciliation. Wow. Wow. Um, unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going exactly. And then look, the two of cups, that's literally a chemistry project that they're, they're working on. So this lets me know at some point you guys were in alignment, but things kind of got off. And now you guys like, you know, you've gone through your own ascension or you've raised or you need to match this person's level. And you're wondering, OK, why are they letting me go? Energy is fluid. This can be vice versa. Someone could have just let you go because you were so dependent on them to tell to tell you who you are, to tell you who you need to be for them. 
instead of being the best version of yourself, continuing on your own individual path to make yourself better and therefore naturally putting yourself in alignment. You just constantly look to them for reassurance. I could never be with someone like that. I've been with someone like that and I'd rather be single truly for the rest of my life. I literally have a child, I don't need another one. That energy is not attractive, that energy is annoying, and I hope that you're not that person. Gem Gemini, constantly looking to your person to tell you who you are. That's gross. Reconciliation, someone for your past is returning to your life. That's lazy, that's manipulative. You have all the same resources to do what they can do and you refuse to do it. That is not desirable and I won't baby you in terms of that if that's you. And if that's someone else, you know, like don't allow them to do that to you. Wow, the Two of Cups came out of this deck as well. If the Two of Water in this deck is the same thing. Um, falling in love or the resurgence of a romantic relationship, forgiveness and the end of challenges, exchanging gifts, don't give up on the people you love. So not giving up is not about doing more for them though, it's about giving tough love when you need to. And I don't even know that I, um, tapped into reconciliation, but it's pretty straightforward. Someone for your past was returning to your life. Basically, unrequited love. There's not enough, you know, love here now for this to keep going the way that it is. You will reconcile with this person down the line once you're better in alignment. But they gotta get out of this freaking energy. Like, it is so... I cannot stand it. I cannot stand it. One of the most important things to me is individuality. It takes effort. It takes dedication. To be yourself, to commit to yourself, you know, to be an individual, to be a free thinker, to be someone who thinks for yourself. These are all qualities that we've been conditioned to ignore or to suppress, you know, free thinking, individualism. And I respect it and I have so much admiration for people who do. I understand that people who don't, you know, have the same societal conditioning that we all have. So I also don't like look down on people who aren't free thinkers, but to see a free thinker is just so, it's honestly so attractive. And you guys, your person really has the ability to be everything that you want them to be, but you have to allow them to. Um, we have the eight of fire. I never got that from this deck. Cool. Um, which would be the eight of wands. Uh, too much going on, stress caused by many positive opportunities, unexpected events or rapid changes, the ability to multitask, business travel. So you guys, you may even be turning down um, an opportunity somewhere. Like someone may be giving you an opportunity and you may be turning it down. <coughs> Or maybe you've turned down opportunities and it's time to stop, you know, not to surrender to this energy and say my life will never become anything more than, than here, but to push back against that energy and allow yourself to be wowed by the universe to say, no, okay, I took some L's in this relationship or in this situation. I put more hours in than I ever should have, but I can still recover from this. That one that fell. Um, we have the lizard spirit at the bottom of this card it says dream the world into being so allowing yourself to visualize how things can look when they're better allowing yourself to believe that there is better for you and yeah that's what i got for you gemini check me out on etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private tarot reading um, for your protection that's the only place you can get a private read from me um also check out my completely free radio show it is live and i have playbacks in the description below um we pull cards for every zodiac sign we listen to music it is such a vibe like this video please subscribe to my channel and i love you gemini be careful what you wish for and i will see you in the next one tune into my radio show where i pull cards and play all the bangers on Station Head in the description.